Okay, so taking out this, I actually managed to take the pull the rubber off the outside one here just with my fingers. It's enough just to grow. I think someone said it out before. And I was able to just um, get a, let's not drop that in there. That'd be a bit of a silly thing to do. Uh, so I got the rubber grommet off it, just pulled that off it first, and then that was able to just pull out, which I hung down there, just like that. Then I've reached in here, got my fingers around the back, and just wobbled this one out. So now I have that one out, which is fine, and that now gives me access to get in behind and push this one out because this one the bevel or whatever it is at the front's come loose and I'm gonna get a look at this but the plastic bits come loose on that so I want to get that out and put that back on. Uh, so I'm now gonna attempt to pull it through. Now I've been told that this plastic bit down here hits so I think I've read somewhere that if I turn this wheel oh, in here there are Four screws, one, two, and the same on the other side. Give it a bit of a turn. Oops, I've locked the steering wheel, but three, and there'll be one on the bottom, four, which I will need to take off, and that will allow me to take this plastic bit off, which means I can slide the taco out and it won't hit. Just down here, or so I've read. Okay, so I've got a little bit of DD40 here. I've got this ring in there, so to spray some silicon spray around the edge of that, so I'll get that a bit with the WD40. Put it back on the clock and slide it in. Okay, so I'll put that back around and I'm now going to put it back in vertically and just slide it. I don't have two hands, so I'm just going to give it a bit of an old to it. Try it one handed. Just sit there for a minute. See if we can get this placed back in. A little bit of love, I'll better concentrate and use two hands on it, but I'm just going to push that back in and see how we go. Let's give it a bit of play. Okay, so it's sort of lined it up to what I think is up and down and vertical. What I like, I guess I can always take it out and rotate it a bit. Okay, push that in, press fit. That's it. I'm gonna pull that clip off by hand and get rid of that one, I think. Just undo these screws. these two on this side just in there and see what happens my light's gone out I don't think you can see but I pulled it up you have to get these I took, took that screw out but you can't just loosen them and then it's been a bit of a wrestle but I finally got that piece off and I don't think I've damaged the dash underneath and if I had you probably couldn't see it anyway um, and so now we'll slide the tack out which I think I can just Reach in, shimmy that out, and no, still not coming. Let's have a look at it. I'm going to put the phone down and just give it a bit of a wiggle and see if I can get it out now. Hang on one sec. Okay, I've lost my lighting, but. I got it out from like the top out first, so it's angled forward first. Otherwise, the bottom still does hit here. But you can you get enough drop on it to get the top out, and you can pull it out. Not quite that simply, but that's how it came out. Okay, so we've got the the tack out here. So I've got the got the tack out. Can I zoom out? Okay, got the tack out. Um, issue is that the Bevel is 
issue is the bevel is loose so I can you can see that but I can actually wobble that up and down. Now the issue was I thought the bevel was loose but it's actually cracked the plastic so I'm going to attempt to glue that back together unfortunately I think because the black casing is inside there I've got a feeling I'm going to glue that to the casing at the same time but I feel if I pull it apart completely I may not get it back together as nice so I'm just going to glue it and I hopefully never have to get inside the tack if I have to then um, I might have to buy a new one see how we go hopefully we don't glue it but we'll see so I've just got some basic super glue I'm going to give that a give that a go and dab it around the edges and hopefully she holds Okay, well, I, I started off by trying to use a matchstick to put it under, but it didn't really work. So, in the end, I just got this, got this, and opened the lid and just put very tiny bits around the bottom there. And, uh, and now I'm just holding it shut. I have uh, just put that under weight to keep that shut overnight. I think tomorrow that should be non-wobbly anymore and we'll put it back in can you really see that let's get a bit of focus going so i glued it together under the edge there and it appears to be quite fixed on so no more wobble from the tank. Don't know if I'm going to light it. Let's glue it together. So whether I've glued that black bit onto it as well, I don't know. Um, but anyway, oh, I'm going to clean up the rubber grommets and slide that back in. Okay. that in there so I'm going to give that a clean out with a bit of a degreaser and the best degreaser is dishwashing liquid which I can't find but I found the same brand it says degreaser at the top for clothes let's give it a go I'm going to give that a little squeeze and uh, see how it goes okay so just uh, turn that once over I need a bit of help doing it so just grab the wife's toothbrush and uh nah just kidding just uh Get a bit of run around with a toothbrush though, just to get it cleaned up. And as they say in the industry, that is just like a bought one. Okay, so we're just going to put this back on the tack. Let's drop it down there, push it down. pretty much on and that is no loosey goosey on that one ready to go back in uh, I've just cleaned up the speedometer one and I've just noticed on the front of them there's a bit of discoloration which I thought was um, just age but actually you can actually give it a, give it a little wipe it does um, clean off a bit. I think there's a little bit of discoloration but I can get most of it off so I'm going to clean that off at the front and then put that back on the um, speedometer. Okay, okay, up to putting the tack back in so let's see how many times I can get this freaking wrong but uh, got the grommet on it. So I'm going to slide this in so smoothly. Uh, it's going to be a dream. I'm just going to plug the clip on the back and then come back to this. So here we go. Uh, just going to give the rim a bit of a spray with WD-40 around the edges, just to slide it in. 
I saw one clip of the use of silicon spray. So whether this dissolves the entire tack, tack I've got no idea, but it um, should be fine. Uh, all right, I'll give that a spray around the edge and slide it in. Okay, so I've put the clip back on. I've got spray around the edge, and now this is beautifully just going to slide back in because I'm going to put the bottom in first and slide the top in later, I think. I might have to just wiggle it a bit. I'll be back in a minute. All right, I'm just going to show you exactly where the bottom of it is um, for me to get it back in. It's sitting like that on that cord so hopefully the airbag doesn't go off while i um slide it in if i put it further back than that if i put it further back down it doesn't go in so get the lighter bang come on lighty whitey give me something if i have it that far back trying to get it in i can't do it i have to get it to there i'm gonna move this light in Okay, so I've just got that in. I'm just going to now slide it in. I'm going to put the phone down so I can use two hands to get it lined up properly. Also notice with the spray, I can actually grab it here and very gently, like millimetre, just turn it um, if I grab the other side with my other hand and just spin it a bit left and right to get it up and down. So that spray on the outside does sort of help move it slightly. One last thing is... Get in here. From the speedo. From the taco. Oh, tell you what I'm gonna do. Put the plate back on. Let's do that next. Okay, here we go. Got my got my plate. Here. So let's uh, slide this back in and get the fun and joy of doing this now. going to wiggle this into position bit by bit and use a bit of love there's going to be a rubber grommet here or whatever they're called for the um indicators and how to sort of plot you know get on properly but i'm just going to play with it with two hands and <laughs> my wording's not great i'm going to move the plastic bit down with two hands and uh see how we go Right, I'm giving that a 1 out of 10 difficulty job, 2 out of 10 maybe. Just if you look at the plastic bits and guide it in and just, you know, gently put the seal back on and line up stuff and see where it's catching. Um, it was not hard at all. So I'm going to put in my six screws, the two, one right there you can see, and that on the other side, and the four at the front, and we will be done and dusted.